Thank you for joining me today. My name is Kevin, and today we're going to be going over three double bass drumming exercises. Now, when I first added my left foot in the double bass drumming, I immediately lost it. I had no, uh, no sense of rhythm, no sense of technique with my left foot, and I was definitely not comfortable. It took me quite a while to build that comfort in my left foot because as you know, if you're a right-handed drummer, you know your left foot and your left uh, hand are pretty much your weakest link. For the left-handed drummers, you know, your right hand and your right foot are probably your weakest link. Uh, but you know, you spent all that time playing with that one foot over and over again, whether it's rock, jazz, uh, whatever the genre is. and you just are not used to playing with that left foot. And so, you know, your right foot is really comfortable, but your left foot isn't. So when you bring in that left foot, it's really hard to get them syncopated and locked in because your right foot is so comfortable, but your left foot isn't. Now, one way you could go about this is just start to play uh, single bass pedal songs just with your left foot. This is something that I do uh, frequently in order to build that left foot strength. Uh, second thing you could do is you could start doing exercises. Now just because your left foot is fully comfortable now doesn't mean that they're going to be able to work perfectly together. You have to have uh, exercises and drills that involve both of them together in order to build up the syncopation between them and the rhythm between them. So that's why I have three exercises here that are going to be able to help build that syncopation and even build some of that left foot comfort. Now starting with the first exercise, uh, first of all, I'm not going to have any notation for this exercise simply because there's just no need to. Uh, it's pretty simple, it's a simple concept, if, it's more of a concept I guess really than, um, than an exercise. And the reason I say that is just because you can kind of change it and make it your own and make it to... Uh, uh, exactly how you want to but I sort of have a, a skeleton if you will of something you can follow now this exercise I found from uh, there there are many metal drummers that I follow that actually use this same exercise um, so it's it's a pretty generic exercise it's pretty uh, well known and it's uh, for a good reason because it works now what this exercise is is you're gonna play two measures of eighth notes on the double bass then two measures of triplets on the double bass, then two measures of sixteenth notes on the double bass, and then two more measures of six tuplets on the double bass. And then you just reverse that. After you're done with the six tuplets, you'll go down to the sixteenth notes, then down to the triplets, then down to the eighth notes, while all doing uh, your simple um, one, two, three, four hits on your hi-hat, and a snare hit on two and four. Now, if you notice about this exercise, the, the speed or the, the, the notation speeds up your double bass drumming over time. The tempo isn't speeding up, but because of the way it's notated, uh, your, your feet are going faster every time. Uh, from eighth notes to triplets, from triplets to sixteenth notes and sixteenth to six tuplets, progressively gets faster, and then it's gonna get slower. Now, the reason this is such a good exercise is one, you practice every single possibility of continual double bass drumming, whether you're doing continual eighth notes, continual six tuplets, uh, continual sixteenth notes. Uh, you're practicing each one of those if you were to use it for a song. So that gives you the comfort of doing those runs within this exercise. The second reason this exercise is important because you're practicing the transitions between all these different notations. Practicing these transitions uh, will help you for later if you come across it in a song. Now let's go ahead and take this exercise at 70 BPM and then at 90 BPM.
Awesome. Now, the second exercise. This exercise actually comes from a old uh, marching band exercise that I used to play. This was actually an exercise we played with our hands, not with our feet. Uh, obviously because we're in marching band and there wasn't anything to play on your feet. Now, what I have to say that this exercise does better than the last one is definitely those transitions. So basically in this exercise, you're getting hit with almost every single possible transition between notations or a different kind of notation that you would in any other exercise. You're transitioning from 16th notes to triplets, uh, from triplets to eighth notes, eighth notes, 16th notes, triplets, eighth notes. I mean, it, it just goes on and on and you can tell from this exercise. Now the thing that, that makes this exercise important though is that throughout the whole exercise you should be alternating right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left with your feet. Now throughout this exercise, there might be some moments where you wanna do a double right or maybe a double left, but uh, you don't wanna do that. And that's for two reasons. For one, it's actually gonna mess up where you're supposed to end the exercise with your foot. And the second reason is just simply because it would be easier to do that double right or that double left. But we're not trying to go for easier here. We're trying to go for what's gonna make us better. and in order to make us better, we have to do uh, the, the complete alternate uh, right, left, right, left, right, left through that, this exercise. All right, now let's try this exercise at 80 BPM, 100 BPM, and then 140 BPM. All right, on to the third and final exercise. Now this exercise actually comes from a song from Born of Osiris. It's a little piece from that section of the song that I pulled and I turned it into an exercise. And it's really only the, the bass drum pattern that I pulled from it, not really anything else, any of the fills or anything. It's just, just the double bass drum pattern. And if you're curious, the song that I pulled this from is Silence the Echo, and it's actually the bass drum pattern during the chorus of the song. Now this exercise is a little bit different from the other exercises. Uh, this one actually gives you a pattern you would see in a song, which is why I pulled it from a song. This exercise proved to, to be one of the hardest uh, bass drum patterns that I've, I've had to learn, and especially get, get it up to a pretty decent tempo. I still actually can't play it to the tempo of the song, but it's something that I'm working on. This pattern is also good because it gives you a lot of left left hits on the E's and U's of 16th notes, which are some of the hardest uh, notes to hit with uh, anywhere, really, with your hands or with your feet. And it also puts it on your left foot, which is typically the foot that people need to build up the strength. All right, let's take this exercise at 80, 100, and 130 BPM.
All right, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like for more videos and more content just like this.